Welcome to Creative Moments by G. We are so happy that you're joining us today. Monty and I found a new design that we really liked. It's called the Triangle Gatefold. Let me show you a card that we made. Look at this beautiful card. Isn't it beautiful? And you know how much we love belly bands, right? Well, you take this belly band off and then you open it up and we have a card on the inside. Isn't that design cute? So pretty. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. Today for our design, we are going to use Timeless Tropical. This creates such a beautiful belly band. We are also going to use several colors. We'll be using Garden Green, Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, and Magenta Madness for our colors today. The first thing you're going to need to do is get your base card cut. And this is a top fold card. So you'll need to cut it four and a fourth and just leave it the entire length of the cardstock and then score it at five and a half. You'll also need a mat for the inside and then a mat for the cover. And we are using this terrific new designer series paper that Stampin' Up! has in their new annual catalog. And it's called Pattern Party DSP. And it has lots of stripes in it. And you know how much we love stripes. The next thing you'll need to do is cut two squares and our squares are three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So you'll need to go ahead and bring out your scoring board and you're going to just score these triangles right in the middle. Let me show you how you do that. You just line up one point right there in the canal to the other point and let your scoring blade score it for you so you don't have to worry about it and then we just go ahead and we use our bone folder to get this scored really nicely and now we have our two gatefold squares ready to go so let's go ahead and bring in our card and the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is lay this down on the front so let's use some glue and get that laid down. Now on your fold, there's two different ways you can do it. One, you can glue it right to the back of your card. And the reason we like to use the same color as the card is that way you don't have to put anything on the back to cover that up because it just blends in so nicely. So you can put it on the very back of your card or you can put it on this front panel and that allows it to stand up and you can put it as a decoration on your desk. So today we're going to do it that way. So on this front flap right here, we're going to take our triangle. We're just going to put some glue right here and then I'm going to lay it down and get it right where it needs to be lined up and just press it down. See, and there we have it. It's right on the inside cover. We're gonna do the same thing over here. And these overlap just a little bit, but it's so nice because we're going to put a sentiment right on the inside of here. So we're going to get our glue right here on this side. Once again, put it right on the top flap Get it right where you want it, and then just make sure it adheres really well. Now look at this. We have our top fold card, we have our gate fold triangles, and when you, we finish it completely, we're gonna have the belly band on this one, and it'll just sit up on your desk. Let's go ahead and lay this down on the inside. This is for your sentiment. And now we're just gonna put this to the side because we are going to create the belly band. You're going to need 
a one inch strip and just go ahead and do it the entire length. So that's one inch by 11 inch. And remember, all the measurements will be listed over on our blog. And make sure you check out our extra cards over on Pinterest with this design. And now we are coming in with our flowers that we stamped and we cut out using Timeless Tropical. And we were so excited that this is carrying over into the new catalog because we love, love this stamp set. So we have stamped some of those flowers. We have also stamped the palm trees. And look what we did. We just stamped it in green and then we went over it around the edges in our shaded spruce. That just really gives it that depth. We also used our die cuts and we cut out the top of the pineapple because we're going to use that as just some extra ferns along the design. And then we have a little flower cut apart. And then we went ahead and we just did this design so this could give us our background that we needed. So we're gonna bring in our card. We're gonna center our card right in the middle of this. And we are going to just bring it over to create that belly band. Now we don't wanna make it real tight. So remember not to make it real tight so that it slips on and off very easily. Let's just double check that. Okay, it slips over. Now, we want to make sure that it goes over the top part, but you know what? You can always change it. If you want to change it and have it go over the entire card, you can do that as well. So it also goes over just the top part. It's nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and get this glued down. Now, you can put this on the back if you want, but I like to always put it on the front of your belly band because you're going to cover it up. We're gonna bring in our background, and we are going to decide where we want this. We're gonna put this beautiful flower right in the center and bring this over to the side. So, we're going to go ahead and just lay these down. And you know, when you're building this, this gives you the stability before you add it to the belly band. You know, this one's going to go right here. Now, we want these little flowers on the side of our large flower. So we're going to go ahead and just glue these right to this one because this big flower is going to be raised up on dimensionals. And we used our blends to color these flowers. And so pretty. These blends work so well. Just right in the center. And now we can slip in these beautiful pineapple tops on the front. Now, one thing about these tops is you can bring this little leaf up just like that bend it up just a little bit to give it even more dimension right okay and now we are ready to place this on the front of our belly band and let's go ahead and use some dimensionals to put it up on the belly band turn it over And there we have our belly band. Now we need to take that, put it to the side, and we need to add our stamp that we're going to add right in the center. Now we have stamped this, and this is from Timeless Tropical. And you need to just center it exactly where you want it so that it doesn't show. I'm going to get some glue on that. And now we're ready to put the belly band on. Put it right over and look at that. 
here is this beautiful timeless tropical flower that is just so pretty and right here you have this alternating checkered design i really like that it looks kind of like a woven fabric a little bit and then you can open it up and you can write your message right here and this is what i mean it will set right on your desk just like this as a decoration now if you decided you wanted to enclose the whole thing with your belly band no problem take it off and you can do that as well here is the other card we showed you earlier that has the belly band this used a completely different stamp set I did I love sunflowers so we had to do one with sunflowers take off the belly band and here you go let's celebrate you you open it up and you get to write your message right here so we're gonna go ahead and put our belly band back on Well, what do you think of those cards today? Those triangle gatefold cards. We love that design and we really think we're going to be using that in the future. Well, we hope you got a little inspiration and you give us a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our channel. We would certainly appreciate that. Please remember, Maudie and I want you to go out, be safe, be healthy, be creative in your crafting, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.